Okay, a bit of an update and clarification on this GIC Blazer 125CCHS. Originally, when the owner contacted me, he said it was a sensor in the transmission. As everybody knows, these use a CVT style transmission. Uh, he said it's an automatic, it does shift gears. I don't know if it truly does that or not. I know it's a uh, CVT style transmission. So he said it was a sensor, and the only sensor I could find that this uses in the transmission is the speed sensor. So I contacted him last night after he dropped it off. and said, hey, it could have been the speed sensor they replaced before. And he says, no, it, it was the clutch, he remembered. Which kind of leans towards what I was originally thinking the problem was, is the clutch. Since, with it running, you give it a little wee bit of throttle, it tries to move. But if you give it too much throttle, it does nothing. So obviously the clutch is slipping. The belt's probably still in there. Hopefully the belt's good. Uh, and it just basically will not engage the clutch. The story goes, this is actually the second time this has actually happened on this particular bike. This bike is a 2022. So it's not very old. Uh, I believe they bought it right at the very beginning of 2022 or right whenever they got the 2022s in. The father, he's been in jail for the last 14 months. He just recently got out. So I believe they got it right before he went into jail. And the 2022s were released right around that time. Or the, the child's mother got it and they had these issues. But the story goes, um, this is the second time this has happened. The first time it happened... He was riding it normally, and it died. So they brought it back in. They got it fixed. I guess the father did talk to the place they got it from. Um, obviously, you, you can make phone calls in, in jail. So he was able to talk to them, and they originally wanted this to upgrade to the next to the next machine. I guess the guy wouldn't take this one back, and they ended up having this one fixed. Now it's happened again, and believe me, he's not too happy, the father, and the, the son as well. The son is turning five, and before you say a five-year-old should not be riding this, this five-year-old can ride big four-wheelers without any problems, better than most adults. Um, he's a five-year-old that looks like a seven-year-old, if not older, so he has no issues riding this, control, handling this, or handling pretty much anything you put him on. So anyways, the story goes, he was riding it down the driveway, and he hit a jump, and it died. So I'm wondering if the clutch blew apart. Since it does still try and move, the clutch is still kind of engaging, but it's not fully engaging. So I guess I won't, I won't know what's truly going on with this until I open it up and dig into it. But I know they have age uh, restrictions on there but that definitely does not apply where these people live and that's all i'm pretty much going to say so it looks like i'm gonna have to start tearing it down on the left side that's where the chain is and that should be where the clutch is i shouldn't have to touch any of this stuff here on the right side of the bike just basically start tearing tearing apart the left side they said last time it was completely torn apart like completely but um i don't think i have to go that extreme i think i can just take off the side cover take off the foot plate and dig into it but again this is coming from his uh his uh, ex-girlfriend now saying it was completely torn apart telling him sort of thing telling the father but um i don't know they could have over over exaggerated what completely torn apart means to me completely torn apart all the plastics are taken off and it's completely taken right down to them torn apart might be just a side was taken off side cover foot plate stuff like that but we'll just have to wait and see also i gotta get the battery on charge it's kind of weak also it was flashing a battery indicator let's see if we've got any warning lights now nope it says we're in reverse there, leave her in neutral. But there we go.
that's just a quick update on the GIC Blazer 125 CCHS. Um, I got to start digging into this soon because it's the kid's birthday in two weeks. They would like it fixed by then. It all depends on uh, parts availability. And see what I find when I open it up. But there we go. I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always. And uh, please subscribe and comment.